Okay, so it's a new day. Um, guy actually got sleep last night, which is nice. It was a cool anchor. We're right near the Tower of London right now. I'm catching up with my family, and this is really impressive. This like Trinity Gardens thing. We're going to this like I'm walking this church called St. Dunstan's. It's been through a lot. It's 900 years old. It got bombed out in World War II. Now it's a public garden. But before that, on the way, just passing through this. That's probably my favorite thing about London is like while you're just walking to a random place, you just pass by these like insane stuff like this World War II memorial. Look at this, you take a little alley, cobblestone of course, and then you get here to St. Dunstan's. Pretty picturesque. Kind of just random, it's like caught in between all these different like buildings of brick that are a lot newer and then you got this, this old steeple the gardens right here. So much of this is like 900 years old. Kind of sick. Such a peaceful little park for you to go. You didn't expect right in the heart of London. This has got to be one of the best and most unique public gardens I've ever seen in the city. So apparently there are palm trees here? So we were walking along to the next place and that place is um, Leadenhall Market, which was actually kind of like inspiration and kind of can be seen a bit um, in Diagon Alley, you know, the Harry Potter movies, specifically the entrance, and it is gorgeous. Look at this. And I love how it's like this is a historic market, and then you look right above, and it's like, whoa, New York City, you know? It's like a little bit of Boston vibes, but obviously this is way more elaborate. And we're in the morning, so nothing's open, but it is really impressive. There is no milk plan. Please do not leave Milk Friday. That's, that's very old fashioned. I like that. This little alley right here. It's Diagon Alley, basically. You know, steps in from the street. And then you get a leaden hall. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool. This is this is it. What do you think, Becca? This is it. So cool. I so think this cool. is where. Um now my Potterhead brain is. No, Apparently. we don't. Okay, this is where we cut the fly. What is this, Becca? This is where they walk into the leaky cauldron to get into Diagon Alley. And I think some of the streets on Diagon Alley. Doesn't are really look like a pub to me. It kind of looks. Yeah, kind of looks like a law firm. Look at this. We're walking over the town. Some great views over there. There's the Million Bridge. He's using a different Harry Potter movie, actually. Um, there's the Tower Bridge over there. This one's called Southwark. Very pretty stuff. It's just crazy, like down there. This is the town. Very famous. He's a shard. Cool stuff. Because what we're walking to right now is uh, a tour of Shakespeare's Globe, which you can see over there. It's, uh, you know, not the original. It's actually like just about as old as Shakespeare in love, but it'll be cool to see because it's right about where Shakespeare's original globe used to stand. We're walking into the river. What a path. Oh my gosh, we're like right on. And there's the bridge we just crossed. Absolutely gorgeous. St. Paul's over there. This is a truck. Food. And uh, approaching the globe. This video was brought to you guys by Uber Boat. But no, seriously, this is a. Uh, such a good view. We're on the Millennium Bridge, as you can see here. What a walk. And look, St. Paul's is right in front of us. We just came from the Globe Tour, which was actually fantastic. It was really well run. Great tour guide. Um, you can tell it's completely geared towards tourists and the fact that the gift shop, everything's listed in US and Canada dollars, but you know, that's all right. Sometimes the touristy thing is cool. You learn a lot, so I like that. What a great view of all the bridges on this side, all the bridges on this side, and the Thames, and all the, the boats. So yeah, this bridge was like seen in the adventure scene in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, which I think is kind of sick. What fitting music while approaching the cathedral. London's got some serious sight lines. Like, look at Millennium Bridge over there. But, more importantly, holy crap, this is 
definitely my favorite building I've seen so far. Like we weren't planning on going inside and doing a tour, but now we're looking into it just kind of spontaneously because, Jesus, this thing is insane. And right across the street from St. Paul's is uh, your local super drug. Now here's the front entrance, led by Five Guys, which, geez, uh, London, when you guys like an American chain like Subway or Five Guys, you just like go all in and put them everywhere. I've never seen a city with this many Five Guys in my life, but man, it is gorgeous. Not the Five Guys, the, the, the building and the clock. These columns are just to die for. Look at this, people got baptized and still get baptized here. This candle, look at that. Talk about a candle. But no, I think it's cool that this is like still an active church. Like, look at that. It's gorgeous. But yeah, no. Absolutely not it. And the other chandeliers I've ever seen. Not there. That's a big organ. It's interesting how they combine all these like battle victories with like the church and stuff. Kind of unique to see that there's all these like super impressive like marble like, cutouts of like defeating the Russians. Somebody in here. What the heck? We walked up like 500 steps to get to the gallery, and look how tight this is. Oh, more than 500 steps. Look at these. Those are more like Bunker Hill style. Finally at the top. This has got to be like. 300 feet, maybe. Look at this view. See, some of the skyscrapers, it's crazy to imagine how much this view has changed in the last 100, 200, 300, like 400 years. And look out way down below. That's where it was earlier. Look back there is the Tower Bridge. We got, uh, Monument of the Great Fire of London, Sky Gardens up there at the top. The Tower of London is back there as well. There's the shard. And it goes all the way around. And of course, it ends with a gift shop. And a cafe. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hilarious. So that's St. Paul's. Um, totally worth it to spend like, you know, an hour and a half or so here to see a lot. Let's go! Uh, excited to check out this market. It's, it looks nice. Just got some Pan Am curry from the Thai place over here. And it is fantastic at Borough Market. Such a bustling area. Like, it, it just surpasses the American market so much. You could eat them up, but, you know, good food. Got my first dessert in London. Salted caramel with a honeycomb on top, filled donut. I've never seen like a completely filled donut place, but I'm excited to try this out. It looks sick. 
after crossing the London Bridge and taking uh, the tube because uh, no strikes as much today. Uh, over to Westminster Abbey. Look where we are. We're gorgeous, but obviously, just it really comes up at you and it's impressive. Also, love a good telephone booth. Looks like we're not going to be going inside today because uh, it closed pretty early, but that's all right. Because just seeing it is good enough, you know? We saw all St. Paul's and got to make some sacrifices. Just like I'm sure this guy did when he led his troops to war. Yeah. Next to look at the Palace of Westminster. Um, big Ben. There's a parliament going over there. I guess it is tradition now, but here's another very abrupt end to a vlog. Let's hope vlog number three is a little bit smoother sailing. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for a lot more cool European vlogs coming soon.